What's up guys? Mega doesn't know this, but yesterday when we filmed the Trader Joe's grocery haul, the lens was all the way zoomed in when we did the intro, so it was like right here on our face. <laughs> so like when I'm thinking about the stuff we're gonna get today, it's like if, as if we were driving past Trader Joe's. So we're redoing the intro. This so is whose fault was that? I think it's my fault. It's always your fault. Yeah. So this is the day after we did the Trader Joe's grocery haul, but this is the intro. We're doing the top 10 Trader Joe's finds, five of mine. And five of mine. And it's not just like the top five in the store, because for me, that would probably just all be like meats. But uh, Only it's, things you can find at Trader Joe's. Yeah, like more of, we're going interesting over good. Yeah, these aren't just like everyday grocery items. These are things you have to go to Trader Joe's specifically to buy because you can't get them at Whole Foods or Kroger or whatever, wherever other place. Yeah, Trader Joe's has a lot of unique stuff. They do. I never killed anybody, but I got something to do with that body. I got this grease on my back, carry it like I'm moving the body. I told him to shoot a hundred rounds, like he trying to move it about it. It was like lamb in the moon, and skip the school, that's a truancy body. This isn't our card. Did you push it at all? How far did you push it? Just like four feet and then you grabbed it <laughs> I know because I assumed my girlfriend's pushing our cart so we are in Trader Joe's we took a nice lap to remind ourselves of what they have and you stole someone's cart and you got two coffees and I'm on my second coffee and we already got a few things show them yes we did so Matt got some olive oil he's obsessed with the salmon was it cheaper here yeah their ribeye is really cheap but it doesn't look as beautiful as the Costco ribeyes. I'm not gonna lie. Matt got some calam, calamin. What's calam? Kalamata olives. Is this calamon? Oh. You should have just saw Matt's face. He like looked at me condescendingly. He was like, calamata. And I was like, <laughs> no, playa, look at it. Calamon. Organic virgin coconut oil. So we like to get our coconut oil in bulk at Costco, but the glass jars is more so what we're aiming for. Yeah. And what is, is there Virgin. Any, and it's also a virgin. It means cold, cold pressed. Same means with this. cold pressed. Cold pressed. And so what's better about cold pressed? Um, none of the oils oxidize as much because right. they've never been heated. So this is in no particular order. I love all of my Trader Joe's babies the same. If you're into hot sauce and like this isn't even too spicy, it's just the best flavor profile for a hot sauce. It's called Green Dragon Trader Joe's. This is the only place you'll find it and it's delicious. We're instituting the Sports Center not top 10. Trader Joe's sardines are extremely bad, and I'm an aficionado of sardines. So, this isn't in my top five, but it's another thing that I like to have in the house. You can. You can make fat bombs. Yeah, you can make fat bombs. You can eat it. If you have a nut butter allergy, this is um, a tree nut allergy like me, this is perfect. Organic frozen spinach. I'm not like a huge proponent of constantly obsessing over organic, but with spinach, it's like the most pesticide infused piece of produce for like the last 10 years. So I don't like to buy conventional spinach if I can help it. And like I put this in smoothies, you can put it in like casserole things, just it's good for meal prepping. All right guys, so these, are, I haven't seen them in a while. They're delicious. Mahi Mahi burgers, so good. I used to eat two at a time. One patty is 110 calories, five fat, 15 protein, and one carb. So that's not bad at all. You top this with some like garlic aioli. Okay, so grass-fed frozen meats. You got right here, four patties for seven bucks. You got gra this steak, super fatty, look at it. $10 per pound, which is really good. This, it is $85.15, which isn't ideal, but grass-fed for six bucks. These prices are really unmatched for grass-fed beef. You can't find them as cheap as this anywhere. We weren't planning on getting that much stuff, but I'm really loading up here. Nuts, seeds, hemp seeds, chia seeds, all those are super cheap, particularly walnuts, $7 per pound. If you guys have ever tried making a pesto, you'll know that pine nuts are a fortune, but this is six bucks for eight ounces. That's a really good deal. And we're gonna get some pumpkin seeds. All right, another not top 10 are these bad boys, these parsnip chips that used to have an extremely false label. Apparently they changed it. Did they? They did change it. Um, but I don't even know. It's it, still low. They're still yeah. lying to us. So six for an ounce? Nah, it's not, that's not even possible. I don't know how they did that. There's better ways 
to get your crunch in. Quest has chips, flackers, pork rinds, nuts, veggies. You don't need these in your life. Pre-cooked grilled chicken, like right here. Pretty cheap, it's like what? It's $6 for 12 ounces, so not that cheap. But no, they actually have this one, just chicken. Okay, so this one says just chicken, 16 ounces, $7. High protein, low fat, low carb. So you got to add some fat to them. They're almost no carb. Convenience. Convenience. I know a lot of you guys want convenience. Instead of like getting the fast food, get this just chicken. All right, guys, this is just like a secret and weird find. So I've never seen this pepperoni anywhere else aside from Trader Joe's. Because it's probably Trader Giotto's. No, it's not. I don't know, but it's, it's the best pepperoni I've honestly ever eaten. It's so delicious. One ounce is 13 fat, five protein, one carb. Like those are just phenomenal macros. If you're ever at Trader Joe's, get these snacks, dinner, make our chicken crust pizza and top it with this pepperoni. But honestly, so delicious. So Trader Joe's has a ton of cheese. So definitely just peek around, get something that sounds good and it'll probably be good. But this is my favorite, this thousand day aged Gouda. It has like a lot of crystallization. Flavor crystals. It has a lot of flavor crystals and I love that texture. Tell them your old favorite. Which one did this dethrone? Well, my old favorite was this. This creamy Toscano. It has the purple rind. So if you're looking for cheeses to try these two and then get that pepperoni and you're in heaven. Oh, they have it. <gasps> oh, they have butthole cheese. <laughs> Comment below if you know what butthole cheese is. I just said that and some girl looked at me. I feel bad. But they only have half slabs too, which is even better. Because no one's trying to eat a whole slab of butthole. It just, your finger smells so bad afterwards. It's as if like... Julie you can't pick your nose. You can't even pick your nose for two days. I know, and I love picking my nose. My last one is this rustic looking Columbus Salami Sechi. Like all of these type of things do, it has dextrose in it. So don't be afraid though. If you're afraid of flavor, you can run, but this is really delicious. You get two of them in here. It's $7.49. You have to slice it. You can slice it thin. You can slice it thick. Should we get this too? Yeah. I assume we're gonna do a cheese board. Yeah. So this is this is eight fat, seven protein, zero carb. A little bit of carbs from the dextrose, but still it's so delicious. I thought we're getting it. We are. Oops. So this is my final top favorite. These uncured bacon ends in pieces. It is, look at, look at all that fat in there. Can you see that? There's a lot. Yes, they're delicious. And this is great just for like cooking up, eating a bunch, great for like omelets we used to do a lot of. Whoa, look at this one. I oh know. my gosh. It's just pure fat. And it's, it's $4.49. So what are y'all taking pictures for? Oh, just a, a video. <laughs> we make videos. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For a pound? Yeah, four forty nine a pound of like just pure fat. You might get some nipples on this one if you're lucky. Do you remember that one time we got the pork belly? Was it pork belly? Yeah, and you forgot. Oh, sorry. We're just in the way. We forgot to cut off. The, Matt forgot to cut off the nipples, and then I couldn't eat any of the pork rinds that he made because they were nipple pork rinds. So a bonus find, guys. The Kerrygold butter here is super cheap. Not as cheap as Costco though. Yeah, I, in San Francisco though, it was like $2.49, it was cheaper. So just a fun fact, the RX bars, you think they're like, so when I look at this, I'm like, oh, you're a down to earth, wholesome company. No, they were bought out by Kraft for $500 million. So that just goes to show there's a price to everything. Okay, so another not top 10 is definitely these Think Thin bars. A lot of people have asked about them and eat them. Can you hold my coffee? Yes. But they use IMO and maltitol. No, 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 wait. They just use maltitol. And it's How many grams? a ton. How many grams? Yeah, maltitol. 21. What? Let and, me see. Let and, me see that. And they use um, sunflower oil. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Big time not top 10. 21 grams of maltitol. That's basically like 15 grams of sugar. Just get Quest bars, guys. Yeah, that's your best option. Everyone favorite. always asks, they're trying to like, you know, get the new hot thing. No one's like better than Quest bars still. Power Crunch bars are also an option people like to do. Are they? Yeah, they're Let's like. Let's check these out. Remember? Oh, these aren't that bad. They're just too high for me personally. Yeah, it's seven grams of carbs, one fiber. Should I look at the camera? Yeah. <laughs> what? 
I don't know what I was thinking. All right, guys, so this was our Trader Joe's top 10. We hope you got some good finds from it. Let us know below what you like the most from Trader Joe's.